Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another little tip for you guys. So, you have your blogger and you feel like you want to host all your YouTube um, information into Blogger, which seems pretty natural. You know, YouTube is owned by Google, Blogger is owned by Google, everything should work fine. And you get it to work, you know, just adding the information. But this is what happens when you add anything more than five videos to your Blogger. Obviously, everything has to load so it takes some time and it takes some time and it takes some time and finally you have all your videos loaded so of course you can use a YouTube playlist but um, it doesn't work exactly how you want it to work because the YouTube playlist only comes up uh, within the actual video so uh, what I wanted to show you how to do is I did the same thing up here, but as you can see, there's just one main video. And if they want to come up here, there's a little playlist here. So when they click on the playlist, it just opens up in the same little window here. And then they can go back to the first video and everything works perfectly. And it loads only one video at a time. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. Um, it's already written out, so it's going to be really easy to show you. So here's the original, and as you can see, all I did was copied from uh, YouTube. Of course, here's your embed code, and of course, here's your, all your options, and you just embed this iframe. So that's all I did. I just copied and pasted for each one of the videos that I wanted into here. And I put, of course, I put it, you know, uh, 113, well, 200 by 113, so everything would fit nicely. Okay. Now, this is all well and good, but of course, it gives you all of this and of course even in within uh, blogger it takes a while to load everything up so uh, of course if ever if you're on your iPad or iPhone or anything like that or your smartphone then uh, this is gonna take forever so let's go ahead and show you what I did f to make it work to make the playlist work now this same HTML can work for your regular website too, but uh, it's universal. It'll work for anybody. So basically, all you do is uh, you cr you type all these out, and you're gonna make them links. So what we want to do is here's our main iframe, okay? So this is this main iframe right here, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to uh, copy and paste the same information, this information, all of this, just like you have it here. Okay? But I added one more in piece of information. What I added was the, the name of iframe, this right here. Of course, I also made it a little bit bigger since I only need one video, so 180 by 320. And then here are all my links. So to make a link code, you need the, the anchor tag. We know that. And you need the actual text that's going to go within that people can click on. After that, you're going to tell them to reference the actual video. And then you're going to target the iframe. So when you click on it, it's going to actually target this iframe that I named iframe. Now, you don't have to name it iframe. You can name it anything you want. But, of course, the target has to change to be what you want here, too. And there you have it. Now, let's go ahead and delete. Let's go ahead and copy all this. Update it. Go here. Copy all this. And paste it. Okay, do a little formatting here. So now that I deleted the um, testing one, and I have here the original one, and all published, when I refresh, you'll see how much faster everything loads, because it only has to load one video much faster. I already did this over here also, although here I made it a much bigger video, but I did the same thing with the bigger video here now one thing you have to remember 
um, is that if you have more than one video, you're going to have to change the title of the video because, of course, if I name this iframe and I name this iframe, when I click on this, it's going to try to um, click on this iframe. So make sure that when you do your iframe titles, name it, you know, perhaps name it this one CTK Children's and name this one GTK Choir or something like that. That way everything loads a lot faster and you don't have any confusion. So that's my little tip for you. Thank you very much.